Hey there, database enthusiasts. Welcome back to our MySQL Mastery Series. We've covered a wide range of topics, from database design to MySQL views. Today, we'll dive into the world of indexes and performance optimization. We'll explore index types, how to create and manage indexes, and best practices for optimizing performance. If you're ready to supercharge your MySQL database, hit that like button and let's get started. What are indexes? Indexes are database structures that help speed up data retrieval. They work similarly to an index in a book, allowing you to quickly locate information without having to scan every page. In MySQL, indexes can be created on one or more columns improving performance for various query operations. Index types in MySQL. MySQL offers several index types to cater to different use cases. The most common types are B-tree, hash, and full text indexes. B-tree indexes are the default and work well for most situations. Hash indexes are used with the memory storage engine while full-text indexes are designed for efficient text search operations. Creating and managing indexes. To create an index, you can use the create index statement or add an index when creating a table using the index, unique or primary key constraints. In this example, we'll create an index on the email column in the customer's table. To modify an existing index, you can use the alter table statement with the add, drop, or rename index clauses. In our example, we'll demonstrate how to drop an existing index and create a new one on the last name column. Best Practices for Optimizing Performance While indexes can greatly improve performance, it's essential to use them judiciously. Here are some best practices for optimizing performance with indexes. 1. Only create indexes on columns that are frequently used in where clauses or join conditions. 2. Use the explain statement to analyze your queries and identify potential optimizations. 3. Keep your indexes up to date by periodically rebuilding or reorganizing them, especially after significant data changes. 4. Be mindful of write performance. While indexes improve read performance, they can slow down write operations, as the indexes must be updated with each data modification. Congratulations! You've just unlocked the secrets of indexes and performance optimization in MySQL. With these techniques at your fingertips, you can fine-tune your database for maximum efficiency. Stay tuned for more advanced MySQL topics in our upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with your fellow database enthusiasts. Thanks for watching, and happy optimizing!